Ciao Luna, come stai? Bene, grazie. Ciao bambini, e voi come state? Bene? It's nice to see you. Today we're going to do a lesson about heroes. But just before we do, I want to talk to you a little bit about heroes. During this isolation time, there's been one very valuable lesson about who we look up to in our time of need. If it wasn't clear before, We've now seen that celebrities and Instagram influencers and TikTok people, they're not heroes. In fact, the heroes are people like our families, our pets, supermarket workers, your teachers. But some of the most important heroes during this time have been our healthcare workers, the people who put their health and their safety at risk every day so that people like you and me can be safe. So today, that's what we're going to create. We're going to celebrate our healthcare heroes and we're going to create a portrait of them. Let's have a look at some of the materials you'll need. For this activity, you will just need three materials. You will need un penarello nero, a black marker, you will need matite colorate, so some colored pencils, but you can use textures, crayons, pastels, paint, whatever you have available at home. And you will need un foglio di carta. I'm using A4 for my drawings, and I suggest you do the same. Let's draw. Okay, I'm going to take you through the steps for how to draw our healthcare hero. You don't need to rush your drawing. It's probably a good idea to pause between each step so that you can catch up. Also, if you feel like being creative and drawing it a little bit differently, you can do that too. Sometimes I like to use my finger to draw the lines first so that I can imagine and see what they look like when I draw them with my texture. So let's start. We're going to start with a great big letter U in the middle of our page. It was really helpful to talk with my finger first, actually. Let's do that again. Now we're going to add a letter C for the ear on this side. And a backwards letter C for the other ear on this side. Now we're going to draw the eyes. Did you know that your eyes line up with the top of your ears? So if we draw an imaginary line with our finger across, that's where we're going to draw the eye. And for our eye, we're going to draw two curved lines like a football. Now from the other ear, we'll go across and another two curved lines like a football. Inside the lines, we're going to draw a bigger circle and a little circle. A bigger circle and a little circle. And on top of the eyes, a curved line for the eyebrows. We're going to put a mask on our healthcare hero. And the mask is going to start from the top of this ear it's going to be a letter U, a small letter U, and go to the top of this ear. Now we're going to draw two lines going down, just under this eye, from here, to the face, and under this eye, from the mask, to the bottom of the face. And we're going to draw a line, a crooked line, just near one of the eyes, down to the mask for the nose. Now we're going to put a cap on our healthcare hero. So we're going to draw a curved line from one end of the top of the head to the other. Okay. 
and then we're going to do an upside down U to make the top of the head. We're going to put a medical symbol on the cap and to do that we're going to draw a rectangle going long ways and we're going to draw a rectangle going down ways that crosses over like that. Now we're going to give our healthcare hero a neck and our neck starts down at the chin and we're going to do two little lines that go down like this. And we're going to put a t-shirt on our healthcare worker. So we're going to draw a curved line to join the neck. Like this. For our shoulders, we're going to do a curved line from one side of the neck to the end of the page. And a curved line from one side of the neck to the end of the page. We're going to make the t-shirt a little bit more interesting and we're going to do a letter V from the bottom of the neck down and back up. Now we're going to put a stethoscope on our healthcare worker. That's what they use to listen to our heartbeat. Are you ready? We're going to start at this side of the neck and we're going to do a curved line, a bit like half a banana. Like that. Not all the way down, we need some room down the bottom here. And we're going to go back up here and do another curved line just beside it. At the end of those lines we're going to do a big circle. And inside the big circle, we're going to put a little circle. On this side we want to repeat these lines. So from this side of the neck, a banana going down and the other side of the banana, but don't join them up. Now we're going to do an upside down letter U that goes past the two lines. Like this. And inside that letter U, let's put another upside down letter U. And on the end of that, we put two circles. That's our stethoscope. Now I'm going to change to a pencil because I want to show you first if you want your healthcare hero to be a boy healthcare hero. If you want your healthcare hero to be a boy healthcare hero, we're going to add some hair and to add our hair we're just going to do a zigzag under the cap. And then we're going to do a little bit of hair sticking out under the ear in a V shape. Now my boy healthcare worker my boy healthcare hero is ready to colour in. But I just want to show you if you'd like to make your healthcare hero into a female or girl healthcare hero. We're going to add a few extra bits. For the hair, instead of a zigzag line, we're going to do a curved line from the middle to the side. And another curved line going the other way. Then we're going to add a letter V. But this time, not a little letter V, a great big one that goes from the ear to the neck. And on the other side, from the ear, this one's a backwards V, to the neck. Because it's a girl, we might put some earrings. And maybe you'd like to add some eyelashes. And now our female healthcare hero is ready to colour in. When it comes to colouring, one of the things that I like to do is to put a piece of paper under the sheet I'm using, just to make it a little bit softer when I'm colouring. It's really important that we don't rush when we colour because that's how we end up leaving lots of white spaces and also going outside the lines. So I like to colour in in sections. So I'm going to start with this side over here of the face and I'm just going to start with the top section. I'm going to imagine almost like an imaginary ladder going down like this. And I'm just going to colour each section of the ladder in one at a time. So I'm going to start up the top here.
And just before I go to the next part of the ladder, I'm just going to check that section. Make sure there's no white spaces and make sure I haven't gone out of the line. Beautiful. Now I can move on to the next section and I'll do the same thing. I'll just colour this section. And before I go on to the next bit, I'll make sure there's no white spaces and that I haven't gone outside the lines. Now I'm ready for the next bit and you notice that I'm not rushing. Notice also that I'm moving the paper around as I colour because sometimes it's easier to get to a space if we move the page. I'm still doing section by section but I'm just moving the page around so that I can get to the section I need more easily and then I can colour in the whole space better. Sometimes, when you've got a really big space to colour, you can use some different colouring techniques. This one is called cross hatching, and the way you cross hatch is by colouring a small section going in one direction, so down, and then beside it will go across, and then beside that will go diagonal, you can go across again, you might go down. You might go across again. So you're actually changing the direction that you're colouring. So you might go down. And then beside that you might go across. You might go across. Diagonal. Down. And by doing that, slowly you end up filling the space. Another technique that's really good with big spaces is to first go around all of your edges and colour those in. And that's a really good way to stop you from going outside the lines. So if I just go around all of my edges and I first make sure that I've coloured perfectly up to the line. I can then go around and fill in the space on the inside. The last thing I'm going to do is just add a little background. You can choose whatever you like for your background. I'm going to put some love hearts just because we love what the healthcare workers are doing.
So there you have it, a really great tribute to our true heroes, our healthcare workers. If you'd like to extend the hero tribute, I've got a little challenge for you, so stick around. Now that we've celebrated our healthcare heroes, let's bring it a little bit closer to home. What I'd like you to do for this next part, if you're up for the challenge, is to create a portrait of who has been your isolation hero. For me, it's been my family, my partner Tony and Luna. And so I created a portrait of them. Are you up for it? I look forward to seeing all of your beautiful artworks, your healthcare heroes and your personal heroes. From the Signor Torcasio and Luna, ci vediamo, be safe, ciao bambini.